Hello guys! Ngayon, uh, solve natin tong problem. So yung problem natin ay determine the tension developed in each wire used to support the chandelier with 169 newton. So, ito yung uh, illustration ng problem natin. So, assuming na itong uh, chandelier ay may bigat na 169 newton which is acting downward kasi may pull of gravity na umahatak sa kanya pababa. So, yung chandelier natin ay may iba't ibang uh, tension na nakakabit or wire in each. So, meron tayong tension DC na nakakabit dito. Meron tayong tension BD na nakakabit dito or nakatali. At ito ay nakatali din sa tension AB na nakakabit sa wall. And meron din tayong horizontal na tension na tension BC. So, isulat muna natin yung mga announce natin dito. So, ito yung mga announce natin. So, paano natin to ma-handle kapag ganito yung figure natin? So, yung pinakasimple natin gagawin dito is to divide this uh, figure into two. Which is dito tayo mag- uh, uh, dito natin ihahati yung uh, figure. So, meron tayong B na naka-attach and D na composed of multiple tension. So, unahin natin i-draw ng free body diagram ay itong uh, dito sa point D kasi may given siya na uh, isang force na 169. So, that madali natin ma-identify yung uh, ibang tension na nakakabit sa point D. So, pwede natin masolve ang BD at DC. Compare na kapag dito tayo mag-solve ang una, walang given na uh, tension. So, mahihirapan tayo at at the end of our solution is hindi pa natin directly mahanap yung exact value. So, dito tayo, maging practical tayo. So, dito tayo una sa point D. So, i-draw natin yung free body diagram ng D dito. So, ito yung free body diagram natin. So, sabihin natin ito ay uh, D. So, dito tayo magpo-focus. So, yung uh, 169, ito yung uh, approach ng... Uh, chandelier natin. So, it is going downward kasi may pull of gravity na umahatak sa kanya. Just like this. Next is tension. Uh, ito, DC. So, ito is also DC. Yung angle niya is 30 degrees above horizontal. So, ito is 30. Therefore, yung uh, angle niya dito is also 30. So, kung 30 ito, therefore, ganun din siya dito. Next is yung 45 degrees na tension BD. So, name nito is BD. And bakit naging 45 siya? So, ito is 45. And ganun din. Ito is 45. So, ito, 45. So, na-plot na natin yung tatlong uh, tension or forces na present or nag i sa point D. So, yung gagawin na natin is to solve the Uh, value of this tension. So, pwede natin yan apply yan or i-transfer this uh, free body diagram into much simpler na force triangle. So, ito na yung uh, translation ng free body diagram natin. Kinonvert natin ito into force triangle. So, yung nangyari, itong BD is naging ganito. So, assuming na yung angle niya is 45 degrees and then, kung 45 ito, therefore, yung taas niya ay 45 din. So, since yung angle ng perpendicular na line is 90 degrees, so therefore, 45 ito, ito ay 45 din. And kapag 45 ito, 45 din yung sa loob niya. Gets? Kasi 90 degrees. Next is kung 30 ito, 30 rin ito. So, ganun din. So, yung angle ng perpendicular is 90 degrees. So, therefore, ito ay 60. At ito ay magiging 60 rin. So, Para makuha yung total na angle na na-accumulate nitong corner ng triangle, i-add lang natin yung 45 at 30. So, meaning, yung angle nito ay 75. So, pwede na natin masolve ang BD at DC using sine law. So, ano yung formula ng sine law? So, sine law, we're in A over sine A is equals to B over sine B is equals to C over sine C. So, kayo bahala kung ano yung isiset yung A, kung DC ba or 169 or BD. Uh, walang kaso yan kasi 
yung uh, operation lang man is lahat sila equal. So, dito, in ko na yung A is 169. Therefore, ang kanyang uh, opposite angle ay so, sine 75 DC over sine 45. So, isolve lang natin to Cross multiply natin. So, 169 sine 45 and divided by sine 75. So, yung answer ng DC is 123.72. DC or CD 123.72 uh, Newton then pwede na natin masolve yung BD so buhayin lang natin to at palitan ng BD over yung angle nya 60 sin 60 so we can solve 169 uh, sin 60 divided by sine 75 equals 151.52 so BD 151.52 Newton so kung hindi kayo uh, sigurado sa answer nyo pwede nyo yan i-apply eh, ng summation f of x or f of y na equal to 0 so burahin mo natin to at i-prove kung tama so balik tayo sa free body diagram natin so summation f of x equals 0 so we have dc cosine 30 minus bd cosine 45 so substitute natin yung cd natin is 123.72 cosine 30 minus bd na 151.52 cosine 45 equals 0 so Pwede natin yung gamitan ng calculator. So, 123.72 cosine 30 minus 151.52 cosine 45. The answer niya is, uh, yan, 0 0.0003. Kasi raised to negative 3 siya, meaning mag-move tayo ng 3 decimal place to the left. Or approximately, 0 is equals to 0. Meaning yung CD at D, BD natin ay tama. So, proceed na tayo sa pag-identify ng tension AB at BC. So, next, yung free body diagram ng point B. So, ito ni free body diagram ng point B. So, yung tension natin AB is uh, going to the left with angle of elevation na 30 degrees above x-axis. So, kung 30 ito, yung sa baba niya rin ay 30. Ito, 30. So, katulad din nito. And yung BD natin is 45 degrees below horizontal. So, just like this. And kapag 45 siya dito, yung kanya kabila ay 45 din. Kasi total angle ng perpendicular is 90. And then, we have BC. Ito yung tension na horizontal. Hindi yan din mismo naglalay sa horizontal. Therefore, dyan na rin din siya. Walang angle. So, pwede na natin to i-translate or um, solve using force triangle. So, i-draw natin yung triangle dito. So, ito na yung force triangle ng B natin. So, yung BC natin is ito. Naglalay sa horizontal axis. And then, yung BD natin, just like this, uh, has a uh, 45 degrees below horizontal. Just like this, 45 degrees siya sa baba ng horizontal. And yung AB natin is 30 degrees above horizontal. Just like this. So, 30 degrees ito, above horizontal. So, 30 ito, yung kanyang taas ay 30 rin. So, yung question natin is, ano yung angle nito? So, remember, kaya yung sabi ko kanina, yung total angle ng perpendicular na line, na plane, or na line is 90 degrees. So, may given na tayo na 45. So, saan galing yung 45? So, dyan yung uh, alternate angle na 45 na to. Yan dito. So, uh, may 30 rin tayo dito sa baba. At ano lang yun, titira. So, 45 plus 30 is 75. So, 90 minus 75, yung angle nito ay 15. So, tama naman. Kasi yung angle ng 45 natin must be equal to the angle this. So, 45 naman siya. So, 45 plus 45 is 90. But yung question lang natin is, yung 15. 
15 degrees lang yung pinag-uusapan natin since yan siya yung nasa loob ng triangle natin. And then 30 at 30, 45 at yung angle ng ito is automatic 90. Gets? So pwede natin ma-add ito na yung total angle ng corner na ito ay 135. Proceed na tayo sa sine law. So, ganun pa rin yung formula ng sine law. So, yung A na kinuha ko dito is uh, yung uh, BD. Kasi may value ng BD natin na 151. So, 151.52 over yung angle niya uh, sa katapat ay 30. Therefore, sine 30 equals AB over sin total angle nito 135 so isolve lang natin to cross multiply lang natin so 151 0.52 sin 135 divided by sin 30 AB is equals to 214.28 214.28 Newton Next, palitan lang natin ito ng BC So, BC over sin 15 Kasi ito yung BC at yung kanyang katapat na angle ay 15 not 45 Kasi ito lang yung triangle natin At hindi yung sa baba So, therefore, yung angle nito ay 15 So, cross multiply lang din natin So, 151.52 sin 15 oops so 151.52 sin 15 divided by sin 30 answer niya is 78.43 so BC equals 78.43 Newton so kung hindi kayo uh, sigurado or confident sa answer nyo again, pwede nyo to i-prove using summation f of x or f of y try natin yung summation f of y equals 0 so meron tayong a, b y component sin 30 minus b, d y component sin 45 equals 0 so substitute natin yung value so you have 214.28 sin 30 minus 151.52 sin 45 equals 0. So, calcule natin to 214.28 sin 30 minus 151.52 sin 45 is yun, 0. So, to, may raise to negative 4 siya, meaning mag-move tayo ng uh, negative sa or 0 to the left so meaning 0 is approximate 0 meaning answer natin ay tama